coming? Move it out. All right. I'm going. See ya. See ya. Love you. Love you too. Kick butt. Stay Don't focused. Bye. Remember, this is your opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Mm, you're sweaty. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Today you gotta push him out the door. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this way. <laughs> uh, we sold our house in March. Okay. And we've been full-timing since March. Awesome. So I'm retired. And that just gives the dough a little time to incorporate it, I imagine. <laughs> this is our brown recliner chair going for $3.99. If you would like this chair, please call 555-555-55. You guessed it, 55. Because, I mean, we run one of those on almost every system. The Lynx. Oh, really? The Lynx distributor? Yeah, just because this The is... bird can go boondocking. That's the plan. Everything he does is based on playing and fetch. I spy with my little eye dog. What are you doing right there, Charlie? What are you doing? Good morning. Wow, where do I start? We're packing up here in Michigan after a great time with the Coopers. Two big. That was big. That was big. That was big. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and we're taking both RVs, Platinum Ginger, the Airstream, and the Bird. Ah! Just love that sound. The 84. Bluebird Wander Lodge, and we're going down to Culver to drop Carson off at school for his senior year. Then we're taking the bird and we're going over to FSI, Future Solutions, so that we can go through uh, maybe the planning process of the solar install. We're doing loads of Battleborn batteries, lithium, so that we can run the air conditioning as we go down the road. And I want to talk to them about some new stuff that's going on, the Quattro 5000 inverter, the GX, I think, 70, that's that touch screen, so I'm pretty excited to have a chat with them. And right now, we're just packing up to take the Airstream out to the east. You're wearing your macaroon shirt, that's a dead giveaway that we recorded the cooking... Macaroon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that we recorded the perfect chocolate chunk cookie over at Grand Finale with the... Uh, Justin this morning. It was so much fun. And let me tell you something, those cookies delivered. I have the recipe right here in my hand. Tell everyone what we're doing. Today we are baking with a true professional. This is Justin's bakery. We've already come in, we've already had the most mwah, beautiful croissants. Mm. But today we're gonna do something that we can all do, and that is make the perfect cookie. That's the mission. Now we just need him to open the door. <laughs> I didn't soften it too much because I wanted to let the mixer kind of do the work. I'm gonna add the sugar in with it too. It is really important that when we're making our sugar cookies or any cookie in general that you cream your butter and sugar really well. I'm like right up in his bubble. I'm like there's Here. cookies being made. <laughs> I'm not that concerned about making sure they're completely mixed up. So awesome. I could have added my vanilla with my egg. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is you can see that I would have to wait for the flour to do this. Yeah. And then I'd have to add the chocolate chunks. Right and then wait for that again. It makes I don't want to over mix it. Okay, so you added one egg at a time. Yep. And then, instead of adding your cookie, your chocolate chunk at the end, we're adding it in with all the dry ingredients so we don't have to incorporate everything and then do the chocolate because you might overwork the batter. You can see just because at the bottom was where all that butter was. Mm -hmm. So if you feel down there, it's a lot more buttery, like fat content. The mm -hmm. moisture is higher there. Am I allowed to lick the bowl? <laughs> nice. You know someone's a professional when they make the job look easy. But the you thing know? that's that I love so much about this industry is that I'm just constantly learning. I don't know everything. I'm 
Well, that's a sign of a professional too. Yeah. True professional. Right. Always be learning. We usually do about 12 minutes. Okay. That's the sweet spot. But you can see right here. So if we look at this, you can see how it's it's a little bubbly and foamy right there. So that means yeah. it's just a little under still, so we can go a little bit more. Sorry, oh my that. gosh. Yeah. So it's really soft and chewy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Okay, um. We get the crunch, the chew. Stop it. Salty, sweet. It's everything. It's everything. If you are here, you must come to the bakery and cafe. We're gonna put a recipe down below for you and um, have fun and make people happy with beautiful cookies. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah. Well, thank you. That cookie's yeah, good. That was so good. He's so good at what he does. But I'll tell you what, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's really good there. So the next time you're in Grand Haven, definitely stop by Grand Finale and tell them KYD sent you. Woo! All right, I gotta go pack up. I know, we got a lot to do. Okay, bye. bye. Turn really big. Bye, Bill. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you're looking good. Always got a honk. Okay, hold on Trish, I'll be right there. Oh yeah, that's good. Nice smooth landing. Do you feel like you uh, you greased it on or? <laughs> yeah, you already sound like a pilot. Um, so, where are you now? I'm at uh, Three Rivers, Michigan. Three Rivers. Three Rivers. And so now you're just flying back to Holland? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then, um, and then when you land, you're driving straight to Culver? Yeah. Alright, well, fly safe. We'll see you tonight. I just got done driving the two hours and 40 minutes all by myself in the rig. It was kind of cool. Anyway, I've arrived and I thought it'd be really cool if I could back the rig up all by myself. So when Mark gets here, because he's in the bird, and so he's much slower than I am. <laughs> wow, mom's there, huh? Look at, she's backed into the site. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, she's War. flexing a little bit, right? I mean, she, she, yeah. 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 Mom? Hey, you look guys at got you. Here way quicker than I thought. What? You got here way quicker than I thought you would. Oh, hey, look at you. Are you flexing a little bit backing in? Yeah, looking good. You did a nice job. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Pretty simple. How was your uh, How was your solo drive experience? <laughs> what would you like me to say? Fly to me, please. <laughs> The air conditioning was marvelous. I know, but I you, you missed miss, you. you missed me, right? I missed yeah. you so much. Yeah, thanks for lying. Okay, listen. How was, was the silence? Not... How was the silence? <laughs> I know I didn't have any lines or anything that I had to be in. Uh huh. But I was pretty impressed. <laughs> you did a great job. Yeah. I came in, I did the U, I went up, I got out and looked. I'm gonna goal, get out and look. I'm gonna straighten up. There's another airstream here, which could be slightly embarrassing if I have to back this thing in 20 times. <laughs>
I walked around a few times. Mm -hmm. It was a little hairy at times. I was overcorrecting. Yeah. And I made it back. Nice. I was like, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty cool. Am I still recording? I am. Um, I think I'm going to put this on my summer remember list. Back the rig in all by myself. Yeah. So anyway, I can go back further though. Look, Carson's going to be here with the Subaru. I mean, if you enjoy driving by yourself, you want us to all just follow you in the Subaru and you can just get some <laughs> nice alone time? I would miss you too much. Oh, okay. Keep keep the lies coming. I like it. you too. I've missed oh, you too. Oh, thanks, Mom. What about the dog? Well, you know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is my buddy! That's my buddy. All right, what do you want to do now? I let's... want to go for a walk. Let's go get checked in so we have AC for our two units. Yes. And then um, let's put on our walking shoes and walk the campus. Okay. Might as well, right? Yeah. Wait, I gotta. This is my uh, uh, my humble yeah. abode. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go wide. Although you have your own room, I gotta go wide angle to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I'm no, I'm like, this is my bed. This is my desk. <laughs> this is my wardrobe. This is all I have to fend for myself. With. How'd you score a room all to yourself? That's the question. I'm a mad negotiator. <laughs> Is that an AC unit or just an air freshener? It's an air freshener. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. From personal experience and being your father, that air freshener is not big enough. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to be soaking wet. Look at the sign. That was up yesterday. That was up yesterday. And today is tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, um, it's pouring rain and the shaft is closed. Sorry, Dad. This umbrella is only big enough for two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice rain jacket. Where'd you get that? Thank you. Well, that's um, nice. It's called a looks closed little, closet. It looks a little big. I wish you Hey, just uh, we don't have any straps, so if you could just stay there, that'd be great. Oh, sounds good. That was, I, I guess, that was the plan, right? All right. Very Enjoy. good. Thank you. See you. Good to meet you, Alan. Okay. A quality Bye. product. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's light this candle. Hey, do you want to wear a lap belt or something? No, I'm all good. Rocking back and forth. Look at it. Are these mostly my clothes that need to be organized? Mm -hmm. Hey, Charlie, since you're there and and you look like you're so you're so busy. Would you mind just putting these things away for me, Charlie? Charlie? Charlie. Charlie, what are you doing? Outside polish a good degree, a movie screen, a commercial, but to my defeat. Let's do this. My mind's a mess, the guilty stress impress you, my friend. Twice as long as we thought. Is it the more I do, the but more we are ready to go. Would I do? Tell me I'm alright. I'm in a good position to lose it again. The cards are dealt in my hand is in. The push and pull in my own shit again. I'm alright. I was looking all over for you. How are you? Good. I was in the wrong building. Yeah. You've expanded again. We have, yeah. We're yeah. Really Look at this. Now, What's so. this, like a whole center now? Yeah, a little bit. A little right bit. on. Yeah, I'm still, still uh, making our, you know, entryway here, but yeah. Yeah. Is this where I need to be pulling the rigs? Yeah. Okay, because I'm all over in the old building. It's all right. So all um, right. we got plenty of space for you out here, and we got a bay open, but we can probably just do our walkthrough outside if you want. Awesome. Here's right. my kind of unofficial plan. All right. Like project <laughs> scope, discuss a couple things, okay. um, show you around, yeah, show you the cool. closets, show you the where the switches are, where the batteries are, all that yep. stuff. I like it. Um, maybe even show you where I think things might go. Okay. 
I don't know. And Should then crawled over this thing once or twice, right? Oh yeah, we know it now. Yeah. yeah. And then before I plug in the shore power, or I go like that. Oh yeah. And now I'm on shore. Okay. Behold. <laughs> I got my ears are burning now because now you want to get rid of my storage. Not me. Not me. Uh, this guy right here. <laughs> what? You. What are you doing? What's your plan? Well, I want to put 1,200 watts of solar on the roof. Oh, you're gonna get rid of my. That is for like paddle boards. Yeah, but it's for oh, solar. Up, it's for solar. NASCAR. We kept it up there. Yeah. It's kind of fun. just having multiple controllers in right because I mean we run one of those on almost every system the links oh the really the links distributor yeah just because this has got the battery monitor the shunt inside of it and mm -hmm. it's a thousand amp rated and then you have your basically all of your power in coming in through your bank and then the power distribution out going that way to your inverters and this is your exhaust fan up here you're trying out yeah so yeah. I, I'm running that through a programmable relay on the inverter so that it comes on anytime the exhaust fan on the inverter comes on. So we're moving air through the cabinet that the inverter's mounted in before it gets too hot yeah. to keep it keep it cooler. Stop. So one of them will draw cooler air in from the cabin and the other exhaust the hot air. I like it. And then that's the GX50. What's the GX70 look like? Seven inches versus five, but the 50s and 70s. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, yeah right. so just like you know, like your airstream, you don't want to get it hot soaked. Exactly. It's hard to get cool again. It is. So start moving the air when it's moving the air and we'll maintain. So do you have the Quattro here? A, yeah. Yeah. I have, I have, can we talk about the multi Quattro? Well, multi the Quattro 5000. Isn't that where we're going to go? Yeah, we can do. We yeah. got our shipment of multi twos in. So we were talking about using two of these stacked together. These are the, the new inverters that have split phase patch. You think it's better than the uh, Quattro 5000? Well, to invert the entire coach, oh, I you're going to need an L1 and an L2. Gotcha. Which I have a Multi 2 on the other test bus. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. It, you had a Multi 2 set up. Yep. So, you know, this is the dual in, dual out, soon to be UL listed version that um, will allow us to get us into the same. So aspect. it's a 3000, but we're not going to have to do like a switch, a transfer switch. To get both the legs special off. transfer switch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can you you can basically go, uh, run these in parallel and um, sync them to work together and not have to have that special phase transfer switch. Or we do a Quattro 5000. Quattro. More more. You'd have to do the same. You'd have to trick that system into yeah. getting over to L2. Which means the GX70 then doesn't really give me the proper incoming. That's the only right. drawback to that approach. It's right, not right. like an accurate display. Correct. Because it, it, it looks odd because everything is on L1. All right. I covered everything with them. Really? Yeah. We're ready. Are we going to roll out? Yeah, we can roll out. I mean, i got to go over there and move some things around some closets and we might your help with that. And... Two days later. <laughs> we were just like huddled inside of our rig. Just had to get the video done, and I'll tell you what, pretty simple video. Only took 20 hours, <laughs> and we we're ahead of schedule. So much, in fact, that it's 2:30, and we're gonna make, we're gonna take, we're gonna chip away a little bit at our drive east. Yeah. All right, so we're the trailer connection is saying disconnected, connected, disconnected, and usually when that happens, we need some electrical grease in here to make a good connection. I'm pretty sure, ooh, that's a pretty steep angle. Clear. I'm pretty sure I've got some in here. Oh, hey, Brian, this is um, Mark. We were, we're Harvest host members. We were wondering if you had room tonight for us to come in around five o'clock. Okay. 
You will be here about five, you say? Yep. Yeah, just about. Let's see. Uh, yeah, 507 is what our Google says right now. Okay, what size rig do you have? 30 foot Airstream, pulled by a truck. Okay. You're good? All right, sir. Nice. That's fine. Hey, any special just instructions? Just when you're about uh, 15, 20 minutes out, okay? Okay, appreciate it. Talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Uh huh, bye. Bye. Well, we pulled up and met a very nice couple, and they kind of gave me the rundown, and because the host wants everybody backing in, and we're gonna be in the last spot, I don't wanna drive in there and make a big turn, so I'm just gonna back the whole driveway, which is something that I quite enjoy doing. And because I haven't gotten the dent fixed yet, I figure I could accumulate some more and get it all done at the same time, right? That's kind of the thinking. But that's not gonna happen. I'm not even joking. I love Harvest Hosts. Have I ever mentioned that before? We do, we're big I, fans. I absolutely love Harvest Hosts. And even if it's a busy location, all the rigs kind of tend to make their own little village. They do. Yeah, and they chat about where they're going. I'll tell you, we've been, to, we've been to a lot of vineyards. Yes. But I've never been next to a corn stalks like this. And Caleb, a crop. Uh -huh. here's the deal. Okay. If any baseball players come out of there tonight, I want you to tell me. Wait, what movie is that from? <laughs> Is that a movie thing? Is that a movie quote? <laughs> is this like a pound through as well? Well, I, he does police dog training and he's actually going to do a, a demonstration later. Really? Yeah. This is a small police dog right there. Look at that Malinois that's bouncing off the walls. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nuts? Amazing. I'd be intimidated by that uh, Laba Poodle something or other over there. Well, you got to be because yeah. it's undercover. Undercover. I think it's, uh, it's in the Petty Crimes Division. Yes, just when you think it's going to a mom's group. <laughs> Not so fast. I was telling your husband I've been following you guys for years. He walked out and I went, holy moly. Well, this is one of those special harvest hosts. They're all not created equal, but a lot of them are great, but we, we love what you've done here. Yeah. Yeah. We, we try. It's, one day this is what I want to do. That's why I did this. That post yeah. that's there, Yeah. the only reason why that's there is because uh, one of the guys that work for me now is going to buy the place. Okay. We're going to full-time RV. Yeah. And uh, that's there so I can come home in the summer and help him. That's awesome. This is Jim, by the way. And I look over out the window and I see you going into the front of your truck. Look at this. I'm sure you've seen something like this, but I've never seen anything like that. What is that? What is that? So this is the Diamondback Heavy Duty bed cover. And you can walk on the top, it looks like. So it's rated to hold 1,600 pounds. And the original intent was to put a, a KTM 790 Adventure on it, yeah. as well as a 500. Your intent or that intent? My intent. Your intent, okay. My intent, as well as a 500 EXE. Okay. And I got the bed cover, I got a little winch for the front, yeah. I got a 12 foot ramp to the tie downs, and I was gonna winch the motorcycles up onto the okay. bed cover. Okay, yeah. And uh, a couple of my buddies yeah. were watching me do it with my bicycle. Uh huh. And I got my bicycle halfway up the ramp. Yeah. And I fell off. Oh, really? Yes. Winching it. And decided that if I can't do it with a mountain bike, what are the chances of doing yeah. it successfully? You, were you okay? Oh, I was fine. Okay. But if it had been 400 pounds yeah. or 300 pounds of motorcycle, it okay. would have turned out. How much does uh, one of these cost? It so that is right at, I think it was $2,200. Okay. So it's not inexpensive, but it also, right. you can walk on it. You and can you can flip it. it up on both sides. Well, you can also put uh, a razor on it. Okay. So they make, this is a six foot nine inch bed. Okay. Eight foot yeah. bed. Yeah. But for this, they make extensions. Yeah. And you can drive 
two four wheelers on it side by side. Gotcha. So you've got the equalizer hitch. Any complaints there? You like it? No, it works great. It really uh, does. The shaft looks long. Did you add? Did you add the extended shaft? Uh, so the dealer did whatever the dealer was supposed to do. Okay. Can you put your tailgate down? Uh, uh yes. As long as it's straight. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you got plenty of clearance. Right. The problem is when I hit. Oh, oh, the step mechanism. The step drops down. Gotcha, 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 and gotcha. catches. I think the, the dealer gave you the longer shank okay. so that you can put your tailgate down because the stock version of the equalizer is not that long. Is not, will hit the, the jack. Okay. I can ask you questions for days. So I see you're part of the Wally Byram group. You got your numbers up there? Yes. Have you gone on a trip yet or anything? So uh, we've been to two of the Airstream. Uh, rallies? Exclusive campground. Okay. okay, okay. And we did go to the international rally in Lebanon, Tennessee. Okay, man. 850 of people with aluminum in their veins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just had a great time. So you, you dove in to the deep end we, head first. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And go big or go home. And you're loving it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. How, how long do you suspect to be on the road? So... Uh, Initially it was, so all our stuff is in storage. We mm -hmm. gotta go back and sell it. Okay. Um, I talked her into it with one. Uh-huh. And then it went to three. Okay. And now we're at five. <laughs> and we met a couple at the rally mm -hmm. that have been doing it with their Airstream for 13. Oh yeah, well there's always the fringe. So I, mean. I think uh, we're close to probably where you guys are, which is maybe you're at six. Yeah. Correct? Well, yeah, but let's be fair. After two years, based upon the ages of our kids, yes. we felt the need to get the cabin so we can have Thanksgivings. And, and I think everybody's at a different stage of their life. They need a home for different reasons at different yes. moments in time. Yes. So we have, all our kids are grown. Yeah, they yeah. all have spare bedrooms for us. Uh -huh. We have uh, soon to have five grandchildren. Wow. So for us, heading out on the road with me retired, she's mm -hmm. just working for, uh, till Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, and we were gonna move from where we were in St. Louis to be near two of them, one's in Charlotte, yeah. one's in Atlanta, to be further south, okay. probably yeah. in uh, the Appalachian somewhere. Okay. So why not? Just yeah. Do this and then we'll. Find well, it. plus, and Vicky said you have three kids, so I mean, you yes. can use this to go visit your kids and see your grandkids. It's perfect. And that's exactly, and that's what we've been doing this year. I love it. I love it. Man, well, thanks for sharing all that. Oh no, you're welcome. Yeah, welcome. yeah, I kind of put you on the spot here, but man, you sure did a great job. I mean, this Malinois, this Malinois seems, seems special. He is special. He's a very good dog. He just, uh, like, where is he going to go? He's a dog with this much energy. He's going to North Dakota. And what's he, what's he going to do? Uh, dual purpose. Okay. Narcotics and So who, what kind of handler do you put a dog with this much energy? It doesn't matter. Does it? Nope. He'll perform? It's, it's, it's his problem to conform with him. Okay. Not the dog's problem to conform to him. Okay. He has to. Right. I mean, they didn't care. They didn't care if it took three of us to subdue him and take him to jail. They used that as a, bag of, a badge of honor. It took three of them to bring me in here. How many did it take to bring you in here? It was crazy. They didn't care about getting shot. They didn't care about shooting me. They could care less about anything. It was like they were the walking dead. And I got to thinking, what are people afraid of? And the only thing I could come up with is this dog. Because even if you like dogs, a big dog comes running at you, scares you. The first year, I think we trained two dogs, three dogs maybe. But since 1993, we've trained 402 police dogs throughout the United States. So he has to learn to work with me, even though he doesn't want to. He's used to working at about 20 miles an hour. Come on. Sit. 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 
Sit. Sit. Come here, Knucklehead. Hey, bud. You can tell we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, I like this. This is like a challenge. Come on. Come on. So we'll leave Charlie here. Which kennel do you want me to put him in? And you said six to eight weeks? And then he'll be able to Come find any, any peanut butter jelly sandwich. You know, uh, Oreos. Oreos. <laughs> that be easy taking the Kroger's. <laughs> 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 <laughs>